What's up Montreal? I'm Patrick. I'm Carla. And today I'm gonna let you know about five Montreal horror stories. Are you ready? I'm scared but I'm ready. Are you? I am because I'm definitely gonna scare you. Mmm, I nice Oh my god! <laughs> This cross is to commemorate the execution of Jean-Baptiste Goyer, who killed and robbed a wealthy person and his wife. As punishment, he was sentenced to death by torture. This cross is now served as a warning. How does it feel to know that there are students sleeping in the dormitory right there in front of this cross? I want to go there at night, and I want to see what's happening. <laughs> I'm supposed to scare her, look at her. But here's, here's the part I'm going to scare you right now. Is yeah, okay, well, there's another horror story about the Great Nuns. Okay. That there was, used to be a nun, okay, okay, that locked 33 children in one room and okay. burned them to death. Here? Yes! So there's ghosts of, of murdered kids roaming around the dormitory and, and we have Korean students sleeping there. We should make a movie about it and go at night and film it. Okay, <laughs> let's move on to the next spot. Let's go. Did you know Montreal has its very own witch hunting stories? In 1763, Marie-Joseph Corriveau killed her own husband. The evidence proving this witch hunt was that her body was found hanging. Marie-Joseph's body was then iron caged in the public crossroad and left to rot. So did you know she hunts the townspeople every Halloween? No, I didn't, but um, that's not interesting. I want to see her. Like, Seriously? Around here? Seriously? Yes, yes, around all Montreal. Let's call her. No, nope. I'm, I'm, I'm I'll going. do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. I don't know, I, I think she's spooking me right now. Marie-Joseph! 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 <laughs> For all you ghost lovers, the Royal Condos on St. Paul and St. Sulpice are haunted. A headless man hangs around making loud noises of heavy shoes and rolling empty bottles. The developers should have known before constructing on the original Hotel Dieu hospital site. So I don't know about you, but I will definitely not want to move in one of these buildings. It looks lovely, for real. Like, I will be great here. Okay, so move on to the next spot now. <laughs> Montreal is known for its strip clubs. Mary Gallagher was a successful prostitute whose good looks drove her best friend Susan Kennedy jealous. On June 26, 1879, Susan chopped off Mary's head and popped it into a bucket. Every seven years, Mary visits her dead site in search of her head. Her next visit will be in 2019. This got to be my favorite Montreal horror story. This very park used to be Saint Antoine Cemetery. It was dubbed Cholera Cemetery. As people with the disease used to be buried alive. Girl, how does it make you feel that we're actually stepping on graves right now? Feels like home in Mexico. Everything has cemetery. Okay, it must be like very weird. This is not how I thought you were you were, you were gonna end this. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna spook you right now. You don't seem that scared. See the building right there, the Sound Life building? Yeah. Well, every weekday at 5 p.m., okay, they play an instrumental music. Why? Well, legend says it that they play the music to keep the dead asleep. So if we stop the music, there's gonna be like a zombie apocalypse? Yeah, the dead will rise and they will haunt this town. It has to happen. I am, I am not close to her. If you are scared, if you are, you are as scared as I am from Carla, give it a thumbs up. Even in my side, like if you like like horror and stuff, Team Carla, come on, like the video. And make sure to subscribe for more awesome much content. I have to run away from her. She's spooking me out. Bye. <laughs>